Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Auburn McCormick. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Is this your first CMA Fest? Um, yes, it actually is. <laughs> okay, and the reason why I'm asking is that's been my common thing today. Is so many artists that we've been interviewing, it's their first CMA Fest, and I just have to say that I feel very blessed and very honored that I get to interview you during your first performance during CMA Fest week. <laughs> This is exciting. <laughs> um, so, so I got to know, what have you, have you done anything? Have you gotten to take part in anything that's been going on, like Fanfare X or any of the showcases or anything that's going on? Um, no, I actually haven't. Um, I did come down um, to Broadway to watch the Preds play, but okay, that's hey, about that's, it. <laughs> that's equally as exciting, though, right? I mean, the whole town is lit up. It's yeah. on fire. Everybody's having a good time, and you're here. You're ready to rock out and. So excited. I, I'm excited to see you. I love it. I love it. And and I want to know what's going through your mind right now. Um, I'm a little nervous, I guess, just because, I mean, it's always good to be a little mm -hmm. nervous. But I'm also, like, more excited. This is, like, the first time I've um, performed with a live band that mm -hmm. I put together myself. Oh, fine. So... I'm excited. Oh, that's good. And you know, I was, I've, I've always been told that when you're nervous, it's just because you care. And that just means you put more of yourself and your heart and your soul into your music and, and your performances for your fans, which means a lot, you know, yeah. Every, everybody's here to see you and support you. And, and I think that's great. And, and I think that you getting nervous shows them how much you care about your, you know, your craft and what you do. So I would definitely agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what else do you have coming up? What do you have going on music wise? Um, actually I have another show tomorrow night. Oh, um, fun. yeah, so that's going to be fun. And then I actually was just, um, asked to be on a CD that is Ooh. coming out. Can't really say much about it, okay, but okay. be on the lookout. It should be coming out around October and one of my songs will be on it. I'm really excited. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, yeah. how fun. When you got the news for that, did you celebrate? Because I, I, I know for me, like if I got any kind of news like that, I'd be like, come on, family, we are going to dinner or something. We are doing something exciting. Well, I was actually working at the gym and mm -hmm. <laughs> the guy called me and I literally was just like, shut up. And everyone <laughs> stopped and they all looked at me and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And I haven't really been able to like completely celebrate right, yet. Right. But I mean, it's coming. I want to oh, celebrate. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> it is coming, and she's going to celebrate, and we're going to cheer her on because it's great. That's awesome. I love good news, and I love when people are happy about what they're doing, and, you know, it just makes it contagious. It makes you want to see them keep, you know, doing what they're doing, too, because, I mean, obviously, you know, when you're excited, the fans are going to be excited, mm -hmm. and then it's just like this happy love fest that happens, and we love that here. Oh, for sure. My friends are pumped See? that they're going to be able to get a song on iTunes. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, you should be. You should be proud, and you should celebrate as, you know, as, as soon as you can. And, you know, I can't wait to hear what it actually is now. Like, I, 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 I'm kind of like, hmm. Yeah. What's going can't on? Say yeah. No, but when you can, you need <laughs> yeah. to let us know so that we can just promote the hell out of it and blast it and congratulate you because that's got to be exciting. And, it is. And so, so who who in your family would you say is your biggest supporter? Oh, that's so hard because mm. my mom, she's the one that I got the music from, so she's always been my supporter. But mm. I think in the past few years, it's probably been my dad. Oh, okay. And I'm not even like a daddy's girl, but he is just so proud of me. Like he, Aww. I mean, is always telling people about me, trying to pull up on his phone videos of me. Oh, like that's great. you can't get him to stop talking. It's, oh, oh I don't even know. <laughs> that is so great. But look at, but look at that though, by him doing that, you're taking notice and then you're sitting here and you're telling all of the world, you know, all about your dad. So it's kind of a you know, full circle right there, I think, <laughs> yeah. you know, I think that's great. And, and just because maybe you didn't think you were a daddy's girl, that's probably not how he feels. You are definitely daddy's girl, right? <laughs> maybe I am. I, I don't think know. so. <laughs> I, th I think with him being just a little bit proud of you that I, I, I think that title might actually exist. It might fit. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I am definitely a daddy's girl. I have to say, I grew up being a daddy's girl, and I love that. But my mom right now is the one who's, like, bragging and doing all this <laughs> stuff. So I kind of have the opposite of you. It's been fun. But um, so, so what else can you tell fans? I mean, I know you, you can't tell everybody the exact, you yeah. know, but what else do you want them to know? Where, where can they find you and all of that stuff? Um, well... First of all, they can check out my website, which is auburnmccormickmusic.com. Um, and they also can know that I will be in studio in July recording my first EP. Mm, and not really sure the like set date that we're going to try and release it, but I know that mm. 
the very beginning of July, I will be in studio recording and getting everything ready. I'm so pumped. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> got to be exciting. And you know, with new music comes new tour dates or, you know, show dates mm -hmm. for fans. And, you know, when you get to sing those new songs for fans, have you already done that? Have you been singing some of your new material? Yes, already? I have. And I'm going to sing four of them tonight. Oh, fun. See, I was, you're ahead of me. I love her. It's like you're a mind reader. No, but I, I love that because every time you know an artist is working on new music, when those shows come up, it's like they sneak those ones in there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, is it, is it fun for you to watch the fan reaction to some of your work? And does that help you decide what you're going to put on your album? Yes. Um, my favorite, though, is like after the concert and then you just like hear people walk by and they're just humming your tune mm -hmm. and you're just like, yes, that's a catchy one. So right. you're like excited and pumped. You're like, OK, well, that one needs to be on the album. So. Oh, see, that that's great. I know we just heard a guy singing a song that he was like, you know, you want to hear something funny? And I, he, you know, he wasn't taking himself too seriously at all. But when a fan can immediately hear it, they can hear your song one time, hear the chorus one mm -hmm. time, and then sing it the rest of the song. Yeah. Like, that's a song you got to keep. And mm -hmm. I was just like, yep, that's a song for me. I love it. <laughs> and I don't care if you meant it to be funny. It is so super catchy and so much fun that it was just like for me. I, I love that. So I, I love that you get to watch your fan reactions to that and maybe help make some of your decisions. And I'm excited to hear those tonight. I think it's going to be fun. I hope you like them. All right. <laughs> well, everybody at home, if you're not watching the live feed, you can watch the recording of it. But until next time, stay tuned, guys.